Between each event, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade your car. Use the valuable car points you've earned for new performance parts. New parts will be unlocked as you level up your car throughout the series. Leveling up your car earns you car points, or CP for short. Using your CP gets you the best performance upgrades to install. Try to experiment with different parts. If a part doesn't get you the results you were looking for, remove it. Then use the refunded CP for something else. No two cars are the same. Each car has its own unique set of parts. As you level up the car, new categories of parts will unlock. Installing parts will change the car's performance, and the PI number will be recalculated to reflect that change. A car's PI is determined by its level of performance. The faster the car, the higher the PI number. Car class corresponds to a specified PI range. Each event will have a car class and PI limit that we will need to stay under in order to compete. As we build, be sure to keep an eye on the balance between power and handling. Over-investing in any one area can hurt our competitiveness. Experiment to find a build that's right for you. Quick Upgrade will install parts for you and build a car with a balanced performance. This is a summary of how your car's performance will change when we install the parts for you. All right, now that we have some new parts installed, let's head out for our next event. That build looks good. Let's head to Magello. Changing one driving assist at a time is the best way to understand how each affects car control. While you're running the required practice laps, push that new build to the limit to hit that target lap time. As you practice, you will pass through select track segments that are key to fast lap times. Your time is tracked through key segments, and when you improve your time, you'll receive a car progression bonus.
through that segment this session. Keep it up, and we'll have no problem getting the results we're after today.
Well done. We finished P2.